I'm medical expert Dr. Frank McGeorge. In good health, we know pets help kids recover from illnesses by providing companionship. But a new study shows there's a hidden benefit when it comes to your children's long-term health, well beyond a simple warm fuzzy. Any moss of Huntington Woods has experience with both kids and pets. We all in our family, we all have animal allergies, but we have three cats and a dog. And actually, I think we all seem to be kind of better off with the animals in the house. According to Beaumont allergist Dr. Marty Hurwitz, a new study published in the journal Pediatrics helps explain why. This is the first study that actually linked having a pet, particularly a dog, in the home that would re reduce the incidence of respiratory infection in the first years of life. We definitely get less sick than we used to. I would say colds and things like that, sinus infections, I think we do get less sick. Herwood says he's found for kids that have respiratory problems early in life. The advice that is given by many physicians to get rid of the dog is probably the worst or the least effective. In fact, the new study suggests having cats also gives a benefit. But the biggest benefit was from dogs who spent time outdoors. The immune system has to be challenged in order to mature properly. That means having a pet that either brings viruses and bacteria into the home or sheds their own dander might be beneficial. I definitely think kids should have some germs and some dirt. I think people get crazy with this hand sanitizer and washing and washing and washing and washing, and it's just not natural. Now, one thing researchers noticed was there might be a difference in the effect that pets in rural areas have compared to inner city pets, since that could affect the type of germs the animals bring back into the home. Back to you.